What's the true cost of the coronavirus? Well, for one family, a simple flu test required a trip to the emergency room because healthcare providers wanted to make sure it wasn't the coronavirus. Good evening, I'm Phil Bergman and for Jennifer Griswold. The CDC and local health officials are taking extra precautions to make sure community spread does not begin in Nebraska. But for those extra precautions could be costing families. Reporter Rola Olsenida has more information on what you need to do and who you need to call if you have flu-like symptoms to avoid community spread of the coronavirus. You know, in Nebraska, we do not have any community spread. And that's a good thing. But health officials warn everyone needs to be responsible when visiting the doctor's office, especially in the wake of the coronavirus. I would call your health care provider first and let them know, um, you know, ask them what they, they would like you to do. They may have different procedures for the different places. The Douglas County Health Department says if you are having flu-like symptoms like a fever or a cough, call your primary doctor first. They will ask you a list of questions to make sure you are seeing the correct medical professional. A KMTV employee recently went through this process with their husband and daughter, who after calls to their primary doctor and urgent care were urged to go to the emergency room room over the father's possible exposure at work. I think the patient did absolutely the right thing. We want our patients to be calling ahead of time and discussing with their primary care providers. Some questions your doctor may ask are, have you recently traveled to a country with widespread coronavirus cases? Or have you been in contact with someone who may have had the coronavirus? They asked us if we had been out of the country recently, which we had not, um, or if we had any contact with anybody outside of the country. After visiting the ER, both the husband and daughter only tested positive for the flu. But an ER visit for a flu test can add up. We are prepared that that visit is going to be more expensive than had we have been able to see our provider and be diagnosed right away. But it's up to your doctor to ask those questions and recommend a place for treatment, whether that's your doctor's office, the urgent care, or the emergency room. The thing, they don't have to go to the emergency room. If they call ahead and the primary care provider wants to see them in their clinic, they could be seen in the clinic. Reporting in Omaha, Rudolph Sinaida, 3 News Now. And health officials say the most important thing is to take away is if you're experiencing flu-like symptoms, make sure to simply call ahead and speak to your doctor about the steps you should take to prevent the possible spread of coronavirus.